इलास्टिक लिमिट स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन ग्राफ पर गिवन वायर ए पार्ट इलास्टिक लिमिट हाउ यू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लैब you have a pan here you can add on weight the no weight length is l you add 1 kg weight 2 kg weight and you keep on adding weight to this experiment is first part what is the original length given yes ref you can refer to the notes 100 cm original length is given as an example original length is given 100 centimeter you apply how much weight 1 kg weight you step 1 you apply 1 kg weight what is the extension produce 1 cm you remove this weight extension is zero and the original length is same 100 cm means what spring behavior that is original length is given you apply weight the length increases you remove weight it comes back to original 2 kg weight extension 2 cm remove the weight extension reduces back to zero and length is again normal 100 cm you keep on doing this up to 5 kg weight it is workable the moment you exceed 5 kg weight say the load applied is 6 kg weight extension is 6 cm you remove the weight extension is not zero is say 1 cm original length was 100 new length is 100 plus 1 cm the wire has undergone a permanent change in length that means what you can apply weight up to what value less than 6 kg weight say 5 kg weight so elastic limit yes definition elastic limit is the upper limit upper limit of what deforming force what is the deforming force force which tries to change the shape to which if a deforming force is removed the body regains its original form completely that's one part beyond which if a deforming force is increased the body loses its property of elasticity and gets permanently deformed so you can add up weight up to what limit 5 kg weight for designing any machine car truck chassis then you keep on adding weight you remove weight it comes back to the normal there is a limit if you exceed that limit the material gets permanently deformed and after some time this material will break so in this particular experiment this is the limit 5 kg weight is its elastic limit maximum force which you can apply under what condition that the object comes back to the original position so 1 kg weight extension was 1 cm you remove it comes back to original extension is zero after removal extension is zero 5 kg weight you can do this after 5 kg weight if you add 1 kg more that means 6 kg weight then the wire undergoes a permanent extension of 1 cm what is the elastic limit 5 kg weight you can say safe limit up to which the wire can be loaded without a permanent change time with you is 3 minutes to write
refer to B part. B part is what? Is the same experiment. Hooke's law. The law is you apply 1 kilogram weight extension is 1 centimeter, 2 kilogram weight extension is 2 centimeter. If you plot this graph, stress strain graph, there is no stress, strain is 0, stress is 1, strain is 1, stress is 2, strain is 2 what you get is a straight line up to what yes up to elastic limit that means within elastic limit stress is proportional to strain this law stress proportional to strain is known as Hooke's law we have already used it the constant of proportionality is known as yes the law is stress is proportional to strain within elastic limit. This law is known as Hooke's law. Two minutes with you to write. C part is with what? Stress strain graph. For a wire, arrangement in the lab is fix a wire, upper end is fixed. Mark a pointer a small steel wire in form of you can say some arrow and a scale on this side 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For what purpose? Yes? To measure any increase in length. Attach a pan to the lower end we will keep on adding weight to this 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg. If you add weight to this, you are applying force means stress. Because of stress, there will be some strain. So, it undergoes a change in length. Is it that you can have infinite weight on a wire? So, if you keep on adding weight to this in the lab, it will break at some point. So, we will perform this experiment till the wire breaks. To see its behavior that when it is subjected to any engineering application, then what? So, we want to plot a graph. Stress strain graph. You can refer to the notes. O point 0 means what? What is the value of stress? 0, strain is also 0. So, one person generally in the lab will keep an eye on weight divided by area that gives you stress. Change in length, suppose there is a change in length delta L, change in length by original length, original length is say 100 centimeter 1 meter, delta L by L gives you what? Strain. So, as stress increases, strain also increases. You remove the weight, it comes back 2 kg, 3 kg, remove the weight, it will come back to the original and you keep on doing this. You can do it up to, yes, 5 kg for the given wire, say. So, this is elastic limit. 
from this point if you further increase stress increase in stress is small stress increases by small amount this point is a this point is b stress is small but increase in strain is more now remove this weight if you remove this weight at this stage it won't retrace its original path it won't come back to this it will follow this path you are reducing stress strain is reducing reducing stress strain is reducing and at this stage stress is zero but strain is there permanent set you have removed the weight but still there is some increase in length of the wire o o1 o o1 refer to the notes is written as yes permanent set so only this part recommended is that you apply weight for a given machine maximum up to a point within elastic limit if you move up to this one <coughs> one part o to a it is a directly proportional a to b it will vary from straight line to a curve so we have covered first part further increase the weight if you further increase the weight it is you increase stress strain increases this part say p to c the behavior is different for different uh, materials very small you can see in this part a very small increase in stress we refer to parts oa represents elastic range p is the yield point od dash means what further increase stress if you further increase stress this value this point is d this corresponding point is d dash this is the maximum stress which you have applied in the experiment after that you notice a trend yes stress even if stress decreases the experiment is over at this point marked as e what does it mean yes the wire breaks so e is the breaking point procedure is you take a wire o to a it is directly proportional up to b <coughs> you can say a to b it deviates from straight line at b if you decrease weight it won't follow this black curve it will follow this blue line and after that if you keep on adding stress weight small increase in stress strain increases stress increases strain increases maximum stress applied in the experiment is o d dash and after this even if you remove weight even if you decrease weight still wire keeps on increasing its length keeps on increasing and the material breaks at point e time with you is 4 minutes to write